in another blow to the Reserve Bank of India. Its deputy governor has abruptly resigned six months shy of the end of his term. Viral Acharya, who oversaw the central bank's monetary policy, joined RBI in January 2017. Now, he's had a rocky relationship with the Modi government, accusing it of undermining the bank's independence last year. In a statement to the media, the RBI said that Mr. Acharya resigned for personal reasons. Local media say he'll be returning to the New York University's Stern School of Business in August instead of February. Now, he is the third key senior central bank official to quit the central bank in recent months. Former RBI governor Urjit Patel quit back in December last year. That was almost nine months before the end of his post. And his predecessor, Raghuram Rajan, also attended his resignation before a second term. Indian equities largely unsettled by the news today. Both the Sensex and the broader Nifty trading flat after that story broke. But they ended the day slightly, just slightly in the red. Banking stocks, meanwhile, seeing more buying. State Bank of India up over 1% in trade today. The rupee tracking some losses. It is now at just under, th it's fallen three-tenths of, of a percent against the U.S. dollar. And for more on the RBI resignation, we're joined by our correspondent, Rebecca Bundan. She's joining us live from Mumbai. Rebecca, what's fueling this wave of resignations of the uh, top central bankers? What this is really all about is the independence of the Central Bank, of the Reserve Bank of India, or the RBI, which has been a major concern for some time. And although Viral Acharya uh, cited uh, personal reasons, unavoidable personal reasons, as the reason uh, for his uh, resignation, uh, a lot of people are reading into this and talking about uh, the, the, the independence of the, of the RBI. And this is something that he uh, really fought for very hard. If we go Go back to October, uh, Mr. Acharya gave a speech in Mumbai where he talked about uh, the need for central banks to have independence, to have their uh, own autonomy uh, from the government and be able to, to act. Uh, independently, uh, and he said if they weren't allowed to do so, um, that this could have uh, catastrophic consequences and, and an impact on financial markets. So this was really seen as an attack on the, the uh, Indian government at that uh, point in time. And what this led to was a huge, uh, what became a huge public row between the, uh, the RBI and the government. This was really an unprecedented uh, situation where they were fighting very publicly over issues issues including uh, bad loans uh, related to Indian banks where uh, the government was quite keen for uh, the RBI to, to relax restrictions to allow, to allow banks to, to, to lend more. Um, also issues about uh, the reserves, surplus reserves held by the, the RBI. There seemed to be some pressure uh, from the, the government uh, to, uh, on the RBI to actually release uh, more of these reserves to the government. And these were uh, matters that, that Mr. Acharya had uh, issues with. Now, in December, what happened was that the central bank governor at the time, uh, Urjit Patel, he, en he ended up resigning. Um, and again, the reasons he gave were, were personal, uh, personal reasons, he said, but uh, obviously it was all linked to, to this matter, according to, uh, to, 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 to observers. And, um, um, and then around that time, it was very much expected that, that Mr. Acharya would resign, maybe at around the same time uh, that didn't happen. Uh, so this is not a complete surprise, but, um, but it, has, uh, it wasn't really expected uh, to happen uh, right now. But there had been that speculation uh, over the past few months that, that his resignation could take place. Many will be asking now whether it's going to pave the way to a rate cut, but we will soon find out about that. Rebecca, thank you very much for that perspective. Rebecca Bundan there reporting to us from Mumbai.